And hello, whoops, wrong way around, that way around. Not that way, that way, not this way, this way. Hi, how you doing? How's everybody doing? You all right? Feeling good? <clears throat> My throat's a little scratchy, I've just realized. I haven't spoken much today. Pretty silent all day. It's the first time I've ever tried to project this morning, this afternoon, today. What time is it? It's 2 p.m. I'm all out of whack. Went and saw the new Star Wars movie, of course. Of course, why wouldn't you? I liked it. We're not gonna, we're gonna delve into spoilers or anything today. But uh, we can talk a little bit about it. Spoiler free. Uh, Drink a nice cup of nice. So am I. Nice cold coffee, at least. I have no beer. I spent all my beer money on Lego. <laughs> it's not far from the truth, actually. Uh, I just realized that. Yes, yes. Yeah. Got a little. Not actually Lego Picard. That's, uh, I'll talk about that in a second, but yes. Picard is the trap, because Picard is obviously not Star Wars. Just, uh, just in case a certain someone is watching, there's a long-running gag between us. I doubt he is, but just in case. Thank you very much for the bit there, Apollo Men Numbers. So, yeah, obviously today, Gonna, we're gonna we're gonna do, prototype our, our Lego assembly stream basically because I went and saw Star Wars today, so I got a couple of Star Wars: Rise of Skywalker, not Rise of the Skywalker, as some people have been calling it for some reason. Rise of Skywalker uh, kits here. I wanted. Uh, I wish I had time to sort of get graphics and stuff ready, but this is all I, I slapped this stream together as soon as I came home. Basically, uh, if we keep doing these Lego streams, I might refine the arrangement of cameras and stuff a little bit. What was I saying? Got distracted already. Uh, seriously, what was I saying? I was saying a thing and then I got distracted. I got sidetracked. Right, slut, 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 slut the stream together. No, before that, what was that? I just get in a nice cool human heat sink and let it goes live. What's, what's a human heat sink? Another long day, another stream to Groovy. Yeah. I, I need more of those Ogato things, the, the Ogato arms. I went to order one off Amazon last night, but they're sold out apparently. So if my friends in Ogato are watching, uh, I could use a few more of those arms for doing this. Because <laughs> I want a, da a, da a down camera on the Lego and I want a close up camera. And I just, I, I need more Ogato arms. Uh, I forgot. What, I completely forgot what I was saying. Anyway, we were talking last weekend about doing Lego streams. It came up somehow. I forget how it came up. And then I thought, well, we should we should do some Lego assembly streams. Just hang out and chat and assemble Lego. So this is going to be kind of a prototype for that. See how it goes. Audio seems out of sync. Ah, uh, I mean. Down camera might be out of sync. Very slow today. Oh, that's a bummer. Happens from time to time. I'll have to unplug and replug the cam link. Usually just fixes it, but I can't do that midstream because it just won't reconnect properly if I do it midstream. So, guess you just have to tolerate. My head will be down most of the time. You won't be able to see the lip sync anyway. Show for the crazy people at my work right now, though. They open at 6 a.m. Open till, yeah. Work in retail at Christmas time. I don't miss it. I don't miss it even slightly. Man, it's warm. So, I was going to talk about the Picard. And hopefully, this, there we go. Uh, my little Picard there. Actually, not Lego. Apparently my stream deck just disconnected. That's going to make life difficult. You going to reconnect for me? Uh huh. Well, we're off to a good start. Uh, where is the cable for that stream deck? Is it this one? Right against this one. Crap! It won't reconnect. There we 
There we go. You gonna reconnect now? Nope. Well, I think my stream deck's dead. That's gonna make life difficult. Elgato guys, are you still watching? Come on. Come on, reconnect. Turn on. Okay. Well, I guess we're doing this manual style today. The Stream Deck Deck XL is... is dead. Uh, I, wonder if it's, I wonder if it's a bandwidth thing. We've got two different capture cards going at the moment. No, one capture card and one... Cap no, we should be fine on bandwidth. Maybe if I unplug that. And that. I can free up some USB bandwidth, maybe. Please live. Got nothing. I want you to. Oh, it flashed for a second. I really hope my stream deck XL isn't just genuinely dead. Well then, I guess we'll just muscle on. So, the Picard, not Lego Picard actually. It's Megablox Picard. I used to have a Megablox USS Enterprise. I think it was the D. But this is all I have left of it because it disappeared in, in all the all this Lego stuff that got stolen many years ago. When I was moving, the moving truck got busted into and all my stuff got stolen. Almost everything I owned got stolen. I've told that story before, but that's where he's from. I've also got, speaking of Star Trek stuff, these guys, which did not come in a set, these are custom figs. Uh, that I picked up at Dragon Con many years ago, I think. Uh, there was just a guy selling custom minifigs there. I've got a little bag full of them. I might show you some later. But yeah, I've got a little red shirt, little blue shirt, little science, and a little dead guy. And of course, this is an official Lego one. One of my favorites. Oh, it's a, it's a strap! Which one should we do first? Chat room. Try blowing in the end of it. <laughs> How you, tipsy? How you doing? Um, so we're going to do rebels first or first order? Rebels are first order. I wanted the. Uh, there's a new A wing. There's new rebels A wing uh, released uh, amongst these Skywalker sets, which is really really good. Uh, couldn't find it anywhere. Just just sold out. Look, shopping for Lego. Five days before Christmas, it's 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 not the adventure you think it is. I went to four different stores. I wound up having to go from Sydney all the way out to Bondi Junction to the actual Lego store. For those of you who don't follow me on Twitter, I had to go all the way out to the Lego store itself, and they didn't even have the A wing. But they did have these, so I got these as compromise. Like I think about fifteen bucks each, which was you know thirty thirty five is what I'd budgeted anyway. So, uh, am I right or you're right? Stage right or stage left? No. Mitchie says first order. All right, we'll do first order first. What 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 order should we do them in? First order. <laughs> All right, let's just zoom out a little bit so we get a little bit of room to play with here. All right, about there should do it. All right, where's my knife? Yeah, who remembers the Deluter? Like when I was. Doing unboxings more often on the YouTube. I had a special diluter knife. Didn't they used to glue these flaps down? I seem to remember having to tear the box open because they, these flaps were glued down. I guess it's just one piece of tape now. Or am I remembering wrong? Did they change that? Is that an environmentally friendly thing? Because glue was the glue was made out of horses. Or is that just me misremembering how Lego... Because I haven't, I haven't bought new Lego in... God, I don't know. Ten years at least. Sounds like a Borderlands weapon, the diluter. Yeah, it does it, it doesn't it. You're right, they changed it about five... Oh, they did change it five years. Oh, okay. I wonder what was behind that. I wonder if it was, if it was an effort to keep the boxes intact for... The collector's sake, or whether it was something to do with the glue 
being less environmentally friendly than just a piece of tape. Remember you almost cutting yourself with a bunch of... I've never almost cut myself with this. I have snapped the tip off it when I was trying to use it as a pry once. I mean, I used to use it in a bit of a careless way in some videos just to uh, trigger some people, but I've never, never, never managed to accidentally cut myself with it, I don't think. All right, so how do you guys do this? Do you organize the parts first? Do you spread them out? Do you, sit, do you go full Adam Savage and get everything sort of super organized? I never did. I, used, I, I like to, I mean, with a the, with the kit this size, you can just sort of have it in a pile and sift through it. But uh, let's just do a little bit of pre-organization here, just for the sake of, so you can see what's in it, I guess. I don't know, like it matters. Oh, hey. I didn't notice, but we actually did get a little crossbar lightsaber here as well. I've never had one of those before. Whoop! Uh oh. Lost a piece of my lap already. Nope, got it. Is that piece? Never seen one of those before. That's a new piece on me. Getting rid of glue may have been to make it easier for kids to open. Possibly. I mean, the whole thing about uh, the Lego design is one of the one of the original guidelines was the clutching power of two bricks has to be that which like a three year old can pull apart. Just the engineering of that. Oh, I've got two lightsaber hilts. I like that about the Star Wars. I remember that from the original Star Wars uh, kits. You would almost always get two lightsaber hilts because they would rather give you too many pieces than not enough. I've never had a Lego kit that had insufficient pieces. They are extremely careful about that uh, and always have been. They, uh, they know the precise weight of every bag that, uh, that goes out across the assembly line. That's how they do it. You know, they've got machines. Well, these days they've got machines that put the parts into the bags and stuff, but they also weigh them on the way out and they weigh the full kit on the way out. Then they weigh the box of the full kit on the way out. Uh, to, I forget what the exact measurement is, but it's, it's, a, it's a very fine tolerance to make sure that there's basically no possibility you'll ever get shortchanged on the number of pieces. Mega blocks, however, there's my Picard. Mega blocks, people. Uh, I don't know if I've ever had a Mega blocks kit that had exactly the right pieces in it. <laughs> I always had a little bit too many, or on a couple occasions, one or two, not enough. Mega blocks don't care enough. They are a lot cheaper than Lego, though. I'll give them that. And they did get the Star Trek license. So. I wonder if you could still get that. Their license is probably expired by now. Definitely our key style, check everything's on. Yeah. Do it, uh, make sure everything's here. I, I don't know if we have. Yeah, Lego doesn't really give you a. Oh, no, they do. Of course they do. I, I remember this. Now, you gotta remember, it's been a long time, but yeah. If you look in the back of the uh, manual, it's, it used to be on the back, I think, but now they put ads on the back. Uh, but yeah, they, they tell you exactly how many of each is supposed to be in there. Give you a little Lego service number here in case something somehow goes wrong. What else we got in here? Let's have a look at this. Is the snow is the A wing on there? I need to say snow speeder. No, A wing's not on there. Um, Ali, are you watching? I know my mate Ali just bought that yesterday as well after she saw the movie. That's a hundred and sixty dollar kit right there. I didn't have the budget for that. I'm very jealous. No, I guess they don't have the A-Wing on this one. I already see extra parts on back. Well, we have at least an extra lightsaber, and they usually give you extra uh, clear one buys. The circle studs, as I used to call them. There's official names for all these parts, and I only know a few of them. How do, how do you guys call the parts? I call these panels. 
That's a 4B1 panel. And of course, 2B2 round, or textured round, I suppose I would call that because it's got a pattern on it. Actually, oh, here we go. I wanted to, I talked about this last weekend too, just before we start the build, just as we warm up. I've had this key ring on my, uh, on my keys. I've just pulled it off now because showing my keys on a live stream probably wouldn't be the smartest thing to do because people can copy them off images and stuff. <laughs> it's a dumb thing to do, post pictures of your keys. But look how rounded that is. I've got an unmolested brick to put next to it. I bought this at the Lego store in, I don't, I don't know whether it was on the Universal Studios block or just outside of it, but it was, it was while I was going to or from Universal Studios, it was a Lego store I went to. Uh, and one of the things I bought was the Lego keyring. That's been on my, on my, uh, on my keyring for, oh man, it, I was 27 at the time. And I'm 42 now. Someone do the math on that. How many years is that? But that's been on my keyring the entire time. So it's all been rounded off. Uh, 4B1, pl yeah, plate is the other word. Uh, I, I've heard these called as well. Um, but yeah, the old, the old 2 before bricks. And they have these at the Lego store in Bondi as well. A whole bunch of different colors. They even have bronze and gold plated ones. And it's not proper bronze and gold. It's, it's you know, paint. Uh, but I almost bought a gold one because it looks so cool. But yeah, that's that's how tough Lego is. Years and years and years and years rattling around on my keychain. And I bet you it still clutches too. I haven't tried this actually. In... Oh yeah, still fits perfectly. Like, fits like an actual brick. It's not loose or anything. Corners are all worn off. They're all rounded and soft. But it still fits. Both sides? Oh yeah, both sides. A little bit, a little bit stiffer on the back. I mean, when, when you go on the back, it's always a little bit harder, isn't it? <clears throat> Not that I would know. But yeah. I don't know whether I want to get a new keychain and add it to this one or replace this one and, and just keep this as a keepsake somewhere, but it's one of my favorite things. Just a simple little Lego keychain. I've got little mini keychains as well. I've really had a lot of Legos growing up. But I love Ninjago. I never got into Ninja Ninjago. The last gimmicky thing that LEGO did that I bought a few of was the... Um, uh, what were they called with the masks? Those big mech things? God, I can't even remember the name of them. But me and my mate used to do custom versions of the masks on those. We used to paint them up and sculpt them up and things like that. You can see them in a couple of my earliest... Barnacles, yeah. A couple of my earliest LEGO films I used some barnacle stuff. Okay. First up on the list... Actually, let me uh, let me zoom out so you can see the book a bit better as well. There we go. We've got to go to Kylo first. Minifigures. Is there any, do we have a cape? We don't have a cape. Do they not do capes anymore? Or does this guy just not come with a cape? Kylo should come with a cape. He's always wearing the cape. I wonder if I've got a spare black cape somewhere. And this is one of the main reasons I bought this kit, by the way. Because it has Rise of the Skywalker Kylo with his mended helmet. What is the name of that Japanese art where they repair porcelain with gold? Uh, it's an art where, and, and, and the thing becomes more interesting, more available because of its history shown in the repair. There's a special name the Japanese have for it. But that's kind of what his helmet has done in this movie. But instead of gold, it's this red sort of filler stuff and it glows like molten metal. Uh, in, in the movie on his helmet. It looks really awesome. I've never really loved his helmet that much, but in Skywalker, it looks awesome. Kintsu, that's the one. Yeah, so he's got kind of kintsu his helmet, and it looks awesome. All right, let's do his lightsaber, and make sure we get this right way around. Hilt versus pommel. There we go. I wish they'd do more custom hilt pieces. All the lightsabers look exactly the same on the hilt from Lego. I've never seen a different one. 20 years ago, they look like that. They look like that right now. There's a couple of uh, really cool looking lightsabers in the movie. I'm not going to say which ones they are or who they belong to or anything, because that would be spoiler territory. But yeah, 
So there's a couple of lightsabers we get a, we get a good look at in there that are pretty sweet. All right, so let's begin. They did a custom bent one for Dooku. Oh no, they did, didn't they? Yeah, I had one of those. I think that was the only time they've ever done that though, didn't they? At least that's the only one I'm aware of. Did forget about that though, you did right. Uh, if anyone speaks Japanese, by the way, I'm sorry if my pronunciation of Kintsu is terrible. I never heard the words said out loud, but I've been aware of the art for a very long time. Hang on a sec. Someone's trying to text me. That's just my mate. Do -do -do. Only here. Oh, 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 oh. I would do the splash. Oh, wait. Maybe my second. A secondary stream, no. Uh, does that button do it? There we go. That button does it. I'm going to rely on my secondary stream deck, which I haven't updated for the new layout properly. So, <laughs> I really hope my uh, stream deck XL just isn't quite out dead. I hope it's just some weird bandwidth, USB bandwidth thing. My PC might need a reboot. I don't know. And this. You can go with this, and you can go with this. And I forgot, I forgot what a physical pleasure Lego is. It's the tolerance they make this stuff to is like two microns or something ridiculous like that. Like some of the best engineering tolerances of any toy on the face of the planet outside of, you know, sophisticated electronics and stuff. Um, certainly the only toy when I was growing up built with that kind of tolerance. My, he-Man action figures certainly weren't built with that kind of tolerance to their conjoined parts, for example. <laughs> Something I always respected about LEGO is that dedication to absolute quality. One of the uh, worst things that ever happened in my childhood regarding LEGO is, this was when I was uh, a wee boy. I'd made a boat out of LEGO and I took it into the bath. Play with it in the bath. Uh, and I set it by the fire to dry after the bath. Except I set it too close to the fire and all one side of it all bubbled up and melted and fused together. Uh, kintsu kintsugi, is it? Uh, kintsu kintsukori, golden repair. Okay, back to wiki. Yeah, you know what I mean anyway. Hey, Jeezles, how you doing? Um... Right, where am I? I'm losing, I'm losing track of what I'm doing here. Dangerous. Doo -doo 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 -doo. All right, now we need two, three buys of the greys. I want to learn Japanese. Yeah, I wish I'd learned Japanese when I was younger. Much easier to learn languages when you're young. I did a term of it in high school because we had to do language courses. So. Uh, we did three terms. The first one was French, Japanese, and German. I remember it was nothing about French and Japanese. I remember the absolute basics of Japanese. Ich ni san chi go roku. I can count to five. Konnichiwa, sayonara. Sumasen. And that's about it. I wish I wish I'd known back then how much I would grow to love anime. Because that was that was before I even you know, aside from Astro Boy in the eighties, I guess, and maybe Robotech and G Force and shit like that. But I wasn't truly aware of where they came from back then. And if I were, I might have dedicated myself to learning Japanese. Oh well, I have tough enough time with English these days. Take Spanish in high school. Is that is that common in the US? I feel like it's in most in many states. I feel like it should be. Yeah, Spanish not not as not as useful in Australia. We get very few Spaniards down here. That said, I did know a Spaniard a few years ago. Used to hang out with her in a photography group that I was part of when Google uh, Google Groups was still a thing. Uh, she went back to Spain though. She was lovely. Had a bit of a crush on her. Uh, 
This is a piece I've never seen before. Can you focus, please? There you go. So you got a, a 2B1 plate on one side to a 2B socket, I guess, on the other side. I've never seen that before. When I was a kid, I used to hate this kind of specialist part. Because I felt like having something like that would reduce the creativity. Like the, when you got the big windows, big curved windows for shop fronts in some kits and some town kits, I thought that was just copping out. That wasn't in the spirit of Lego, I thought. But as I got older, I appreciated the specialist parts more and more. I, I could accept plain wings. Uh, and I could, I could accept the hinged roof panels and things like that. But a lot of parts like these, for example, I, I felt like these were outside of the spirit of Lego. I eventually changed my mind, but yeah. Back then, I didn't like them much. I just felt like it was a bit cheap. It, it was cheating, making it too easy. Uh, we, are we talking about the new Star Wars here, keeping it spoiler free? We can talk about it, but keep it spoiler free, because there may or may not be people chatting and or lurking that haven't seen the movie yet. So we can, we can certainly chat about it, but keep in mind to uh, be mindful of spoilers. I think we'll give it a couple of weekends before we start talking about spoilers on, on stream. And even then with some warnings. Took three years of Spanish because otherwise I might have had to take it in college anyway. Don't know much of it at all. Yeah. Yeah, the language isn't... Mm, I mean, Chinese and Japanese would be most useful these days in Australia. Uh... Get a few, few German tourists, but I don't know that many Germans that stick around. All right, let's see here. I need a one before brick and two. Wait, are they dark gray or light gray? Dark gray. That's the other thing I like about Lego as well. They take great care to match the colors on their print to the colors of the brick. That's another thing Megablock never did. If you had a brick like this, you could never be sure from the manual whether it was light gray or dark gray, but as you can see, Lego matched the color exactly in the print. So you're never confused about those shades. Um, hey, Italian would be useful in certain places in Australia too. Not so much in Sydney, but certainly in Melbourne and, and Hobart, there are a lot of Italians. I'll wait for Skywalker to hit Netflix before I of the sequel trilogy. I think Skywalk is worth it on the big screen. Probably won't be seeing it till next year at this point. Mm. Well, good luck staying spoiler free on that, I guess. Don't like your chances. But yeah, I, I liked it. It's my favorite of the of the of this trilogy. I'm going to have to see it a few more times before I can be sure of that, because right now I'm still sort of hyped from the, the thrill of seeing it for the first time. And sometimes you don't like movies as much on the rewatch. But we'll see. Right, where am I? I need now two of these. What do you call, what do you guys call these bits? If we can focus, please. Thank you. I call these lanterns. Because when they were first used, they were very often used as headlights or lanterns of some kind on pirate islands and things like that. What do you guys call that one? And we need two light gray stud pieces. That's one thing About growing up with Lego when I was, it, it, a lot of these things kind of have common names in the community these days. But when I grew up, there was no such thing. The internet was, I mean, it existed, but you know, nobody used it. No, no normal people used it. Certainly not people who played with Lego. Um, but these days there's huge Lego communities and AFOL groups and things like that. Well, that's another new one on me. Look at this little guy. Looks like a Wombie stud, but actually has quite a little non-study pillar on top. 
What would you call that? What's the official name for that little fucker? Sorry, I shouldn't I shouldn't swear like that on a Lego stream, should I? Uh, one of those and one red one on the other side, apparently. Actually, that's another new piece on me. It's a 1B stud, but it doesn't have a stud piece on top. It's just flat. I've seen square variants of this for, you know, decades. But I've never seen a round one. I like that. Alright, and this goes square in the middle there. And that's another new piece I'm not familiar with. That's a beveled 2B1 plate. What's that printed on it? Tito gets an anonymous resub right there. Thank you very much, anonymous. That brings T-Dog up to seven months. Uh, where is my other beveled 2B flat? Uh, we should put those so they're consistent. At the logo at the same end. Uh, Lego building is so calming and soothing to watch. It's calming and soothing to do. Actually, that's what I, I, don't, I was about to say something like that, but I think I got distracted. I mean, this is Lego, Lego building. Kit, Lego Playing with Legos as a grown-up is a legitimately recognized therapy. Like, there are, there are people with anxiety disorders and, and things like that that are prescribed, I guess. Therapy time playing with Lego. Uh, and it is... It, it, I was saying before... It's physically pleasing uh, the way Lego snaps together. Uh, that's right. That's right. I was talking about tolerances, and then I got distracted. Um, but it's, it's it's a legitimate therapy. It's uh, used worldwide, which is just one of those lovely, fantastic things, isn't it? All right, we need the TB2 round textured, and two of. orange studlies and they go on the back as kind of rocket engines I guess tell you what there's some cool new ship designs in the new movie as well and some redesigns of classics like we already saw the the new x-wings and things like that but there's y-wings and a-wings and stuff in the movie too with all little slight tweaks to their design I noticed something when I was... This is a frustrating thing. Like, I've got an Amazon gift card at the moment from the uh, affiliate, affiliate program. I was going to order some Lego, but apparently you can't order Lego from Amazon.com and ship it to Australia. Uh, they, they block it, like Apple do, to make, force you to buy locally. Which is shit. Hate that. Otherwise, I could buy some nice kits without being out of pocket. All right. I never knew what to call this bit either. This I never had a name for as a kid. What would you even call that? Separated nose cone? I don't know. But I had a few pieces like that because I had a few airplane kits. Airplane kits was one of my favorite things. I had like four or five different kinds of airplanes and they all came with variants of that in one way or another. Uh, the amount of zooming in people we'll be doing on that scene is going to be nuts. Uh, oh, the scene with the, the various ships in it? Yeah. I guarantee you there's so many little Easter eggs. Because there's a, there's, a, there's a scene that's very crowded with ships. Uh, and yeah, I guarantee you there's all sorts of Easter eggs in there. I did I did take a quick scan to see if I could find the ghost and, the, you know, the common things like that. Or... Uh, you know, Firefly or something. But yeah, there's uh, there's a few scenes that are quite densely packed that I think will be will be quite crowded with fun little Easter eggs for the pausers out there. Uh, goes there. That goes there. 
That's a nice control panel too. Let's, I'm when I was talking before about specialist pieces, how I didn't feel like they were in the spirit of Lego. One of the, my exceptions were the various kinds of control panels. Computer interfaces, screens, control panels, usually printed on these sloping blocks. I loved those. And this is one of my favorites I've ever seen. This little control panel for his, his ship here. I like that very much. Good one, Lego from EB Games slash now too. That's good to know. I haven't seen any, I went, I went to an EB Games today as I was shopping around. I didn't, they don't have it in store, but I guess they just have it on the website. Um, to me, special pieces just feel like they took away this uh, stuff of putting on a sticker. Yeah, that was the other thing. I, I don't even know whether they do that at all anymore. But yeah, again, when I was growing up, you would sometimes get pieces with flat panels on them. Uh, door panels, for example. You get the uh, 1B2 door panel kind of thing where it's flat on the bottom, but it hinges up. Don't know how to describe it. You know the one I'm talking about. It used to be on police car doors. In fact, maybe I could get you one. Give me a sec. Here we go. One of my surviving Lego pieces. Uh, oh, police car here. I, whoops. Oh, don't get the pieces mixed up. You'll confuse yourself. These things. These little, little door panels thing. Yeah. When you, uh, in fact, is that? Oh, that is one. This is, this is one with an actual sticker on it, not printing. As you can see, I didn't apply the sticker very well. I'm just noticing on that close up. It's a little off kilter. Uh, I don't know whether they still do that with anything anymore, but a lot of the time when given a sticker like that, I would leave the sticker off because then I could use the part for whatever the hell I wanted. Um, yeah, this is one of those special parts I was talking about. The bonnet on this car. Focus, please. I'm going to have to swap this camera out for something that focuses a bit better. But yeah, these these kind of bonnet pieces and stuff like that, I mean, they make the things look nice, but it always feels like cheating. Wait, what have I done here? No, that's the roof. There we go. And yeah, this, 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 this curved piece here. I, I used to hate those. These days though, I'm all right with them. All right, where was uh, Kylo's ship here? All right, that presumably goes there. Not presumably, predictably, is the word I was hunting for there. Four by L, four by L bars, that's a good name for them, yeah. L bars. Or L plates, maybe. Uh, mostly stickers these days on the big sets. Thank you for the host tips. Right, I. Wait a second. Have I used a dark grey piece where I should have used a light grey piece? Nope. Well, I might have done somewhere here actually. Dark grey, dark grey, dark grey there. Is that where I've gone wrong? Yes, it is. That needs to be a light grey one. Wasn't paying enough attention. All right, where was I? Do that. Here we go. One of those. One of those. One of those. One of those. Do, 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 do. Snappity do. I'm sure you've asked this a million times today, but did you like Rosa Skywalker? Actually, I've only been asked a couple of times, but yeah, I did. I mean, it's not as good as Empire, but it was a pretty satisfying emotional resolution. The first act and a half felt a bit rushed, and there was a lot of Deus Ex Machina stuff going on, trying to quickly patch up or retcon or explain away some of the stuff that happened in the uh, middle movie that JJ didn't direct. Uh, and it worked 
it worked, but it did, it did feel kind of rushed, and there was a lot of bits in that earliest part of the movie where it's like, oh, that's that's lucky. That 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 random person we've never seen before came along with just what they needed, just in time. That's lucky. I mean, maybe it was the force, the will of the force helping them out, but it did feel like pretty cheap writing in places. But by the time you get to the end of the movie, sort of the emotional ride of it was was pretty satisfying. I mean, let's face it, Star Wars has never been the most subtle and elegant of written uh, 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 pieces anyway. They are just spaghetti westerns in space kind of thing. Uh, and to that end, I have little problem with how lazy and, and silly some of the writing is and some of the dialogue. Uh, the humour pretty much lands for the most part. Um, yeah, I was pretty satisfied with it. But then I went in with the reasonable expe expectations as well, unlike some people. Right. So we're done with that bit for now. Uh, uh, that was the wrong button. Just try that one. Thank you for the sub right there. Four months in a row. Star Wars has never had an overarching MCU plan. Well, yes and no. If you ask George Lucas, he says he has, but George Lucas is famously full of shit as well, so. Uh, he may have had a soft of, soft, softest of ideas. But, I mean, even the first movie has changed a lot. You talk to... You, you listen to Mark Hamill in interviews where he's talking about uh, the scenes he auditioned with and stuff like that, and they have little to do with the movie. Ah, uh, let's see here. So we need these little corner doos. How many of those guys? So that goes there. And this one goes there. And we need two of the 6B wings. Are these 6Bs? One, two, three, four. Yeah, they are 6B. Road One and Mandalorian have been the best Disney Star Wars stuff so far. I agree. Of, of the modern Star Wars stuff, Rogue One and Mandalorian hang together the strongest for me. I know, I know some people don't like Rogue One, and I never figure out why. Some people seem to have issues with it just being there to fill in plot holes or something, but what's, well, how is that a problem? I think it was... Uh, I mean, the opening of that movie is pretty rushed, where they just keep bouncing from planet to planet to planet. That could have been done a little smoother and a little bit smarter. But as a, as a movie, as a ride, as an adventure, as a story, uh, I think that's pretty emotionally impactful. And as an explanation of why the Death Star was so easy to blow up, I liked it. Because <laughs> it was deliberate. It wasn't catastrophic incompetence. It was sabotage. Makes a lot more sense. All right. Turn him over, and I need a 3D wing piece, which goes oh, this one. Goes there, there. Yeah. Okay. Over again. Oh, this is where those little weird pieces come that I've never seen before. Apparently, this goes in here. This is some sort of spring-loaded mechanism. I feel like it might be some sort of spring-loaded firing mechanism. Oh, I bet you it is. I bet you if we put a stud in here. Oh, yep, okay. It's an actual little mechanical firing device for the cannons. That's kind of nice. So that goes... Okay, I think we got one of the wing pieces done. <laughs> that might be my favorite little. I mean, that that beats out some of the some of the Wii manual stuff. Remember, like ten years ago, I did that video making fun of the warning signs in the Wii manual, in the Nintendo Wii. That one might be my favorite one yet. I want that on a T-shirt. And a hat, and a bumper sticker. <laughs> the world of 
Oh, that's beautiful. Now, this goes there to hold that all together. We need a 2B1 great piece right there, and one of our little red lights right there. Cool this? And this goes mm, facing down. Okay. These are one of my favorite pieces Lego uh, did as well. These little locking hinge pieces. I made a lot of use of those when I was a kid. And when I was a grown up, actually. Like my Lego Optimus Prime that I designed at one point. I made a full size Optimus Prime, like scaled to the actual toy that actually transformed. Uh, and I made a mini Optimus Prime as well. And I used a lot of those hinge parts. Okay, so now we do the opposite wing. Doop a doop. Same process, but in mirrored. And that way. Uh, Lego team will not be held responsible for any eye loss. Yeah, do not, do not look into the Lego laser beam with remaining good eye. Uh, Phoenix, how you doing there? Loving that you're doing Lego? Me too. It has been literally years since I've built some Lego stuff. Like so. Now the cannon's going. Is that of the cannon? It's a fairly ingenious little mechanism, this thing, actually. It's taking full advantage of the clutching power of Lego. Very, very clever. Okay. Great piece. Red plate. And we're done on that. and they fold up. Let's put the... This is why they give you extra green ones, by the way, because you're guaranteed to lose at least four of these firing them off around the place. Is that, is that warning again? <laughs> oh, man. I could definitely have to get high-res, find a high-res version that'll scan it in or something and... I wonder if Lego would uh, send their lawyers after me if I put that up on one of those t-shirt places. Maybe just long enough to order myself one. Um, this is just telling us, yeah, this is the warning again. Wait, is he? No. I thought they added a tear this one, but the tears in all of them. <laughs> all right, looks like we're done. We have a few extra pieces here too. More extra pieces than I'm used to seeing in a Lego kit. So we got an extra red light, which I'm, you know, that's pretty common. Three extra green studs. A little extra grey one. Not sure why they gave us that one. That one's pretty common as well. We got a little extra firing mechanism. I guess because that's a moving part, there's a chance you could wear them out if you use them too much. Spare lightsaber hilt, that's pretty common. And spare, whatever the hell whatever the hell they decided to call this thing. Let's put those back in the bag, just so I can keep track of which spares are for which kit. I'm so used to the studs being up as much as possible. Yeah, that's uh, something... I mean, the, the wings are designed so the studs are out because this ship does... You know, it, it flies like that, basically. So I guess it was more important to have that detail on the outside than the in. I don't know. All right, let's put little... Little Ben. Little Ben Solo. There we go. Focus, please. In your own time camera. 
seriously, focus. There we go. I mean, it's not not the most accurate rendition of... Does Renship have a name, by the way? I haven't never noticed whether his... His little impy ship has a name with the big wings on it. It's pretty cute, though. I like it. I especially love love the helmet. With the, what, do we, what do we call it? Kinsen, Kinsenuke? I forget, I've already forgotten what the word is. His repaired helmet. Just call everyone's shuttle? That sounds sensible enough. I mean, it is a bit similar to the old Imperial shuttle, isn't it? With the big foldy wings. How do we feel about the latest... Alright, uh, can we... I guess it's not really a spoiler for the Mandalorian. The most recent episode, the last episode of the first season. Where there's a, a TIE fighter, and instead of landing on the edges of its wings, like you've seen TIE fighters do in every other example of them, the TIE fighter wings fold in half. Well, I guess they fold that way. And it lands flat. I guess it's a logical evolution of that design. But it kind of bothered me. The other thing that bothers me about TIE fighters is the in and out... Well, the pilot gets in and out of the top of the capsule in the middle, right? But there's no ladders, no climbing points. You, no one's ever shown climbing in and out of them. Seems like it might be it's just catastrophically awkward to get it, awkward to get in and out of one of those things. <laughs> All right, Kylo Ren's shuttle done. I haven't seen episode seven yet. Well, watch it before you get spoiled on it because it's pretty good. Out Outlander ties, that's what it's called. Hope they make a set for it. Yeah, but I was, uh, that was, that's where I was going with this. I hope they make a, a Lego rendition of that with the, the folding wings on it. Well, the, are they even wings on that thing? I mean, they look like they're solar panels, but they're not actual solar panels because that would be silly. Old TIE fighters have still ankles for long jumps down after a flight. <laughs> Yeah, the the, the uh, that's that's what's special about the Tie Fighter pilot's uniform. <laughs> Reinforced ankles on those. <laughs> Coolzies. Let's put that aside. So, what did that take us? That took us an hour. An hour for a little kid. I mean, we were chatting and talking the whole time, and there was a bit of intro stuff going on there, but sort of it. In fact, I might stop and start the recording, and we'll do the second kit as a separate recording, just for the sake of the Lego replay, uh, the Lego replays, YouTube replays.